The Mississauga Ontario Palladium Arcade and Amusement Centre opened in 1996 to much fanfare. Constructed in 1996 as the first Sega City in Canada, this 11-acre property and 40,000 square foot facility held over 200 arcade games and attractions featuring a large indoor batting cage, mini putt, go-karts, and full-size basketball courts. In November of 2020, Palladium announced that they would be permanently closing its doors after almost 25 years to make way for a newly planned development on this site. Join me as I explore what's left of the former Palladium Park in Mississauga, Ontario. Okay guys, we just bought our tickets. We're all set to go, paid cash, but they said it was free. So here we go. Let's make our way through and see what's going on. Through this little tunnel here. No clue what we're gonna walk into, what we're gonna see. I just literally just got here guys. So I got no idea what's going on. Big, open, cavernous room. Empty, very empty. Hoping it gets better than this, guys. Pretty interesting ceiling. Different colored lights. Got a huge blue curtain right here, guys. It's in here. Nothing, guys. There's nothing in there. All right, let's follow the blue curtain. There's a room behind the blue curtain. What's behind the blue curtain? Nothing. Is this room gonna be locked? Nope, oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Gotta turn the light on, guys. Gotta turn on the loom cube. Here we go. All right, big empty room. What's up here, though? It's like a soundproof room. Weird. Another big bunch of nothing. Guys, this place is empty. This is like a corporate boardroom where you could come and hold like corporate events with your business. And then go and have fun and play the games. All right? I think that probably goes outside. Yeah, that goes outside, guys. We don't want to go out there yet. So let's head to the main hall here. What's in this room? Nothing, guys. <laughs> huh. That's not gonna open, it's locked. This is the elevator, right here. Should take the elevator up. It's usually a big no-no to take elevators in abandoned buildings, guys. Okay, we're going up, it's working. We're not stuck in the elevator yet. But if we do get stuck, stay calm, guys. Stay calm, okay? 
It smells in here though. All right, thank you very much. Here we are up on the top floor. Somebody set off a, some uh, fire extinguishers in here. It's all over the floor. So far, it's a, it's a bright, interesting place, but it's not a very interesting place because there's nothing to see. It's in here. It's just all these random rooms, eh? Full of fire extinguisher dust. Take a look outside there. I'm going to send my drone up in a little bit and we can see what it looks like from the sky. Too bad there's nothing left behind. It's so hot in here, guys. It's back here. Stairs that just go back downstairs. Here's another room right here, guys. No fire extinguisher dust in this room, though. I'm going pretty fast just because, well, there's nothing to see. Bathroom. Bathroom. This. This locker room back here. Another bathroom. This must be for staff. Another locker room. Guys, said to knock, so I knocked. Nothing. Alarm panel right here. What we got here? Fire alarm panel. Fire alarm panel. Somebody busted the glass in here, guys. It's in here. Server room. That goes outside. That goes back here. This is like your power room, guys. All your internet and phone connections. Power system here. Isn't it weird that there's power? It's so hot in here. It's in here. Got your first aid kit there, guys, in case I hurt myself. Decaying Ray. Who's this? Who are all these people? Who are all these people, guys? That's so sincere right there. All right. All right. Put my name here, too, with my finger. Ready? Here we go. I like that. Oh, guys, I'm sweating my ass off in here. It's so hot. Push. Okay, so we pretty much covered off everything. 
There's my boy, the Easy Cabrizi, right there. Signed his name right there. Saw So Sincere. We saw Decaying Ray. We saw the Easy Cabrizi. Look at these stairs here, guys. It's a good staircase. I think I might do my outro on these staircases. So stay tuned for my outro on this staircase. All right, well, let's get a nice wide look at this big room before we move on to the other part, which has the batting cages. The big joint, the big joint, guys. It's back here. Kitchen. Are there any food bag left in the fridge, guys? Want to see? Nope. No food in the fridge. It's happening back here. More fridges. More rooms. A whole lot of buzzing. That's going to go outside. That goes outside. All right. So we're now behind the scenes, guys. This is where you can probably get drinks and hot dogs and what have you. Maybe some popcorn. I'm going way too fast today, guys. So I'm just not that interested. It's not as interesting as I thought it was going to be. Okay, let's head to the batting cages. That should be fun. Look, the restaurant's called Megabytes. Get it? Because you're biting. Megabytes. Spin zone bumper cars this way. Hmm. Look at this tunnel. Wow. This is fun. Maybe this is where the bumper cars were right here on this pad. Can't imagine where else they'd be. I don't know. Nothing in here either, guys. Let's head on into the batting cages then. This is odd, eh? You don't normally uh, see an abandoned batting, indoor batting cage. Ball up there. I bet you if there's power, I bet you I could find a way to turn this on but there's no balls or bats to play. There's some balls down here in the water, in the gross water right here, guys. So the balls fall down. They go into this little pit right here. So the balls 
they go shooting out of there. You hit them. They bounce off of everything. And then they fall and they roll down into this pit right here. And then this thing scoops them up, takes the balls up, puts the ball in the big pit, and then shoots the balls back down like that. There's your freakography lesson on how batting cages work, guys. If you didn't know, well, now you know. I guess in this is just going to be a short one. Not much to see. But stay tuned, guys, because we are going to get out the drone. Big hole in the ceiling there.
So what would you guys think? Do you guys like this one? Pretty cool place, right? Super cool tunnel here from the main building to the batting cages. Batting cages are cool. The floor is pretty cool. Hope you guys like the drone footage. I had a lot of fun flying my drone inside here. Instead of me doing my usual walking around, I did it with my drone, something different. I hope you guys have liked it. So what else can we say? This place is pretty cool. Got to thank my good friend Life of Deeg for making me aware of this one. Also my friend Motley Kiwi, long time explorer. He also gave me the heads up. Got to give a shout out to Decaying Ray, so sincere and the Easy Cabrizi for being here before me and writing their names so I can see them and give them a shout out in my video. Huge thanks to you guys for always being here, for always watching my videos, for supporting me, supporting my channel and my adventures. Always appreciate you guys for watching my videos. Make sure you do those things. Number one, like the video. Number two, drop me a comment down below. Number three, share the video. And lastly, if you're here and you've not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button follow my channel. I really think you're going to like what I have to offer. And that wraps up this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Make sure you hit the link down below for Loom Cube. Hit the link in the video description to check out my photo gallery from this location. And guys, what do we always say? See you guys on the next adventure. Peace. Peace.